Hello, and thanks for watching this video. And today, folks, we're going to talk about configuring the audit in Dynamics 365. The auditing in Dynamics 365 allows you to track changes performed on the records, the entity records within your Dynamics 365 environment. Some of the data and operations that can be audited include the following. So when a user accesses Dynamics data, if audit logs are deleted within Dynamics 365, uh, auditing changes at the various levels within Dynamics 365, so the entity, the attribute, the organization level, uh, the security roles, when those are changed, those can be edited as well. Um, association of records or records being disassociated changes to the shared privileges and also the create, update, and delete operations of records. Let's go ahead and take a look at configuring that within the system. I am logged into my Dynamics 365 environment. What I'm going to do is navigate to the settings. And once I get in here, I navigate to administration. And when I get to administration, I go to my system settings. And then within system settings, there's an auditing tab. And the first thing I can do, well, the first thing I need to do is I want to select the start auditing checkbox here. And what this really does is this starts the updating or the auditing process at the system or organizational level, right? So I need to specify this setting in order to enable the auditing at the organizational level in the system. Now, once I do that, it enables these other checkboxes that you can see on this particular tab, right? You know, if I want to um, audit user access within the system, for instance, you know, I wonder how long they're logged into the system, I can do that. Uh, if I want to audit the read auditing here as well, I can certainly do that as well. If I look at these other items, enable auditing in the following areas, if I hover over them, it will show the entities within each one of these areas that will be edited or edited will be enabled as well, right? Under common entities, you can see account, contact, goal, goal metrics, and others. Under sales, you can see competitor, invoice, lead to opportunity, sales process, and some others. Marketing, you can see campaign, then customer service entities. Again, to be clear, if, right, if I wanted to enable all the entities listed under common entities, I can check this checkbox and then all those entities will be enabled by default. And what that means as well is all the fields within all those entities will enable as well. But since it's such a you know high processing type of activity, right? All those, those uh, activities or tasks or things that are taking place are gonna be audited and it's gonna be such a hit on performance. I would rather, you know, for me personally, go ahead and enable these things individually at the entity level. Therefore, the only thing I'm gonna do at this very moment in time uh, as I'm literally just going to enable auditing here at the organizational level. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into customization and enable at the end of the level. So I'll go ahead and specify start auditing and then I will click OK. And then once that change is done, we'll go ahead and navigate to the auditing and make the change there. All right. So now since that change is made, let's go ahead and navigate again to settings and then we'll navigate to customizations. And we'll select customize the system. My dialog will pop up here. I'll just give myself a little more real estate here. And that's refreshed. I'll go ahead and expand entities and I'm going to click on account because we'll, we'll go ahead and work with the account entity at this point. And there we go. So it went ahead and refresh. And now what I can do is I can scroll down just a little bit here and under data services, here's data services right here you'll see that there's a checkbox for auditing, right? If I select auditing right here, what this does is this is going to enable auditing for all fields within this entity, right? Therefore, I'm gonna go ahead and check this checkbox and then I'm gonna go ahead and select save here and that will go ahead and enable auditing for everything within the account entity. Okay, it looks like it's finished that. So we'll go ahead and what I want to do is I want to navigate into the fields. We'll go ahead and navigate here in the fields and 
Once that refreshes, we'll go ahead and select the field and, and we'll confirm, number one, that the, that the setting for the fields within here has been, uh, for auditing anyway, has been enabled. All right, so there are fields. Now, if I wanted to focus on, for instance, let's, let's just look at, I don't know, the fax number, for instance. We'll highlight it, click at it. I could conversely just double click on it. Both things are gonna get me the same result here. And if you look, auditing's enabled for my fax for the account, right? Deselect that. Now I'm going to go ahead and, you know, we'll just click on county. It's enabled for county as well. Therefore, this is confirming what I said before, right? If I enable auditing on the account entity, auditing is going to be enabled for every field. And if you look at all the fields, right, there's 154 fields in which auditing is going to be enabled. Therefore, what I might want to consider doing, again, because it's such a performance intensive act, is I could select all the fields here, right? So that's selecting 50, 154, click edit. That will bring up the common edit, common properties edit dialog box here. And what I can do is disable editing, save, and that will disable editing on the 50 of the 154 I have selected. So what I can do is I can go ahead and disable editing on all the fields, then enable it on just the very few select fields I want to. And again, what, what that's doing for me and the system is it's ensuring that I'm gonna have the best possible performance there is because you know, like I keep reiterating, auditing's definitely a performance hit as far as the system's concerned, right? Okay, let's go ahead and test that auditing that we selected on the account entity. We'll go to accounts, we'll select this very first one, fourth coffee sample, and all we're gonna do is just make a simple change to the phone, 0150-0151, save and close. Again, 0151, click on it again. There it is, related is we're gonna find my audit history. Click on audit history, and we can see there is the update main phone from 0150-0151. We click on the update election dialog. Again, old value, new value, the change date, who was changed by, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of detail there so you know exactly what happened, what the value was, what it was changed to, what the field was, and uh, who made that change, right? Audit is a very powerful feature within the tool set. Much can be done. Let's go back into advanced settings. And uh, this time we'll go to settings and we'll go straight into auditing. I just want to point a couple more things out. In audit log management, in here, you can delete logs if necessary. Right, so we'll give this a minute to refresh and then we'll look at the logs in here. So this brings up the Power Apps interface. Before I used to go right into the log area, but um, you know, now we just click on view the logs. Here are the various logs in here. Right, so you can delete the actual logs within here if you need to. I recommend you leave them in here for future reference so you can go back to them. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to advanced settings again. Um, go to auditing. The other things I have here, global edit things, this just basically takes you to the global audit settings in the same place we went to when we went to system settings and went to auditing tab, right? It's just a different way to get there. Um, and again, you're able to select common entities and so forth. The other thing I'm able to do this is um, look at an audit summary view, which will show me all the different summary changes in here as well, right? So the audit log management, audit summary view, and then last but not least, entity and field audit changes. It's really just another way to get into customize the system and specify the ability or to enable auditing on entity level items, right? So just like we saw earlier. Um, so no mystery there, just different ways to get into the system to do the same things that we showed you earlier, okay? A lot of flexibility here. Awesome, well, I hope you enjoyed what we showed you today regarding auditing within Dynamics 365. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us at info at And be sure to look for a video um, on document management shortly. Thanks very much for your time. You have a great day.